Hi friends, oh, it's hot. Over here I found something interesting. Um, Japanese beekeepers like to put their hives in the places where the native Japanese honeybees will find them. They have special tricks to lure the bees in. They put the an orchid that smells like the Suzume bachi. There are the bees come in and attack it. And they say, hey, this is a good home too. Look, it's funny they don't think it smells like Suzume bachi. That wouldn't be a good place to live, but it seems to work. Anyway, this is a great place for honeybees to operate down there. I'm going to be quiet so I don't make too Here's the beehive. What's rare is to actually see bees um, utilizing it. One just flew into my eye before I turned the camera on, so I'm going to be quiet and careful. Let's go and try to get a little video of the bees. Just flew into my mouth. The domestic honeybees don't produce as much honey as the European honeybee, but they have a natural defense against the Suzumibachi attack, the giant horn attack. It's a protective ball, it's basically jumping on the uh, gathering around the Suzumibachi, raising its temperature to the point where it dies. The bees are more tolerant to heat slightly, more tolerant, and can survive. Some of them will be killed by the Suzumibachi in the process, but overall it protects the hive. The European honeybees don't do that. So susceptible to attack. I just had, I thought I had two, one fly right into my eye. So the flu right started to get in my mouth a moment ago. So I'm going to withdraw. You can see them coming in. They're pretty small, not big. This is the uh, more modern style hive. The uh, older style hives were made out of uh, a section of tree trunk that would be in these big trees. They would carve it off and haul it right out. And, a hive out of the tree, tree trunk. There you go. Whoops. Japanese honeybee hive. Take care.